This innocent looking query performs a join operation, which is the most central operation in relational databases. For gigabytes of data, which is the common place nowadays, running this query could take hours to process. Seems useless, right? Let's see how it can be made better. Consider joining these tables based on the above query. The join operation gets executed in this manner and finally we get this answer. Executing the group by query and taking average, which is the aggregation function here, will fetch us this. The bad news is this query can take hours to execute on a sizable database. The good news is people are happy with an approximate answer as long as they don't have to wait hours for it. And this is the essence of online aggregation. It provides an approximate answer which converges to the actual answer over time. And there is no other algorithm which does it more efficiently than WonderJoin. Today, we as part of the Stanford Scholar Initiative will try to fathom its machinery with the paper WonderJoin, online aggregation by random walks. Although online aggregation allows users to observe the progress of their queries and control the execution on the fly, it has had a limited practical impact so far. The current state of the art is based on an algorithm called Ripple Join. Before we explain Ripple Join, first try to think about a brute force algorithm for joins. Yes, you guessed it right. We can do this with a simple nested loop. For a specific entry in table A, look for a match in table B by basically nesting two for loops. However, if table B had an unusually large size, it would hinder an on-the-fly evaluation of the join. Instead, if we sweep the plane like ripples in a pond by drawing samples from both the tables one step at a time and checking for join results, we will get a much better real-time estimate of the aggregate function. Acute viewers would immediately notice a caveat. The order of sampling should be random for this to work, which is an unrealistic assumption. This also means that the performance crucially depends on the fraction of randomly selected tuples. WonderJoin overcomes these issues, and it does so by utilizing much less resources in comparison. Let's see how. So firstly, we need to understand what a join graph is. Let's say we want to find the grades of some students by joining the three tables shown here. If we construct an edge between the two tuples that can join, each join would simply return a path from R1 to R3. So for a large database, we perform multiple random walks on these paths. For each of these full paths, we return the aggregation function estimate. If a walk gets stuck, we simply return zero as estimate. And these estimates are then averaged over the multiple walks to output that value which is closer to the actual one. The example we looked at was a chain join whose walking order is simply R1, R2, R3. And for a complex ASEC like join, the random walk may now consist of both walks and jumps. And for the jumps to be successful, R2 must appear before R4 in this walk plan. And for the cyclic join, we perform the same random walk as that of the acyclic one, but with an additional step of checking whether R5, R3 join is possible. If it's not, we return an estimator with value 0. It is important to observe that there can be multiple walk plans for the same spanning tree which have the different impact on performance. So, in order to choose the optimal plan, we look at all possible walk orders in the round robin fashion and calculate the number of successful walks tau for each of them. Once we reach a threshold number of successful walks, we stop. And then we'll select that walk plan which has at least threshold by two successful walks and minimum variance of estimator. In this way, we get an optimal plan without collecting any statistics beforehand. Having understood the working of the wonder join, let's look how it fared against its predecessor, that is the ripple join. As convergence over time is highly important for online aggregation and water join outperforms ripple join in this area by a large margin. And when the memory is sufficient, results showcase that the data size has limited impact on the performance of the wander join. Due to the randomness plugin of the random walk, wander join shows wonderful results with limited memory. Let's see how these wonderful results be used in the real world. Wonder join has a lot of potential for the real world application in relational database systems such as Apache Spark or PostgreSQL.
and this would greatly benefit distributed systems and cloud computing services like AWS or Google Cloud Platform. So now you see this innocent looking query when combined with wanted join is not useless after all. With this note, we end our presentation. If you would like to view more of our talks, visit scholar.stanford.edu. Thank you.